hello everyone so uh, today we are going to uh, see how uh, the how we need to do the installation of uh, sql for solidbox pdm so we can uh, have different kind of sql versions like standard enterprise express or developer but today we will uh, go through this demo with the sql express version so the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the SQL Server Express. So you can follow this, uh, like you can do a Google search. And then you can uh, download the setup from the Microsoft uh, website. So we will select Express and uh, let's download this. So once downloaded, uh, we need to launch uh, this as administrator and this will bring up the installation window for the SQL Server Express. <coughs> Sorry for that. Okay, uh, let's go with uh, custom because with custom we will have uh, different uh, options to do the required setup for Solidworks PDM. So let's go ahead. So it will uh, first download the installation packages. Uh, this might take some time. Let's wait for this. Okay, uh, so the download is complete now. So this will launch the SQL installation window. One thing to note here is uh, like uh, you uh, would have uh, get a copy of SQL uh, installation CD with your uh, PDM uh, media kit. But if you don't, you can download uh, the SQL version from the Microsoft website as well. So here you have see, uh, seen that uh, like I selected the new SQL uh, server installation. So let's see what different options that comes up. Okay, it checked for the updates. Then uh, it will check for different requirements uh, of your system and it will give a feedback as well if something doesn't satisfy so here you can see uh, the firewall warning is coming this means uh, like uh, the SQL uh, needs uh, specific ports to communicate uh, with different clients so uh, it should have exclusion on the firewall uh, for uh, a normal installation we go and turn off the firewalls but uh, if you want you can have inbound outbound rules as well for different different ports like 1433, 1434 so that SOLIDWORKS PDM and other uh, applications or clients that is trying to communicate with the SQL server can communicate with the same. For now we will uh, go ahead and uh, ignore this uh, error because in my system the firewalls are getting uh, managed by uh, antivirus and there I have exclusion for different uh, ports. But yes, you can have this 1433 and 1434 ports as exclusion to the firewalls. Okay, so uh, in the next step, you can select a new installation, then uh, accept the terms. And now it will give you different options to select uh, of what features you want to have from the SQL uh, installation that you are doing. So for PDM, we don't need uh, this SQL Server replication or other things. So we will go ahead and deselect the same. And uh, mm, the components that is required for uh, this SolidWorks uh, PDM uh, installation for the SQL, uh, you can find the same on the administration guide as well. Uh, I will show you. Uh, just give me a moment. So these are uh, all the features that you need to select for uh, the SOLIDWORKS PDM uh, installation. The same you can find on the admin guide as well uh, in this section. So here you will see what are the different components that need to be selected for the particular SOLIDWORKS PDM installation. So these are the components necessary for your SOLIDWORKS PDM to work. If, uh, you, if you miss uh, installing these components, the PDM uh, installation would not uh, work with the SQL. So the next one is the instance uh, page uh, where we need to define instance. Let's say you don't, uh, you are performing uh, 
the SQL installation for the first time then you can go ahead and select default instance or else if there is another SQL instance going on at that particular server you can uh, install your uh, SQL with a different name so here you need to mention the name on the name instance field uh, please remember this name is very important because if everywhere uh, where you are trying to connect with the SQL uh, instance that you you are just creating this particular name will be required so let's go ahead in next page I suggest you can uh, keep them as a desk yes uh, this one is also very important where we define the server configuration or database engine configuration like here you need to select mix mode because that is very much necessary for PDM or also like if you want to perform some password reset and other things you should have a SA account and here you need to click on add current user so that your account can get add to this particular installation later on your uh, IT team can change all this setting but uh, from the admin account with the which you are performing the installation should have access you should provide the access at very beginning of the installation so now uh, the installation will uh, happen and uh, let's wait for that so once the installation is done you will get a success notification saying that the database engine service is installed uh, you can close this window and uh, I will uh, show you how you can uh, verify uh, the whether the installation has been done or not in a moment so to uh, access uh, the server is uh, installation SQL server installation we need to have SQL management studio now let's uh, download SQL management studio and uh, so that we can access the server that we just installed so we need to go to the download SSMS and uh, click on the download button. This will download the setup. Okay. So once the download is complete, uh, you can click on the setup to launch the installation. So this will install uh, SQL Server Management Studio in your system let's go through the installation process so click on the install button okay so the installation is done now uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to launch uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so you will be able to find it from your start menu uh, by doing a search or you can go to the folder itself it will be listed under SQL Server Tools so once it's launched it will populate you with the login uh, window uh, where you can put the SQL Server authentication and the SA and the password that you put during the mix mode uh, installation of the SQL Server so once logged in, uh, it will uh, take you to the server itself where you'll be able to see all the databases that is available under that particular SQL Server instance. Now as the SQL Server is installed and we can connect to the SQL Server uh, from the Management Studio, let's go ahead and try to uh, connect it with the PDM and uh, after that we will create a vault to check whether the SQL server is working or not <coughs> sorry for that so uh, to do that uh, you need to go to the archive server configuration and go to the default settings then go to security and there you need to uh, put the SA uh, user and the password that you provided during the mix mode and used uh, to log into the SQL server from the management studio so once this it's done restart the archive server configuration service so this will fetch the new SQL credentials that you just put to the PDM configuration so that it can connect to the SQL server now let's go ahead and create a new vault click next select the desired type of vault for now I'll select the standard vault click next put a vault name here as per your uh, requirement for now I'll be putting PDM demo something so 
so once this done click on uh, next or uh, sorry for that and here you would be able to see all the existing spawn that is under that particular archive server now here this step is important so the best practice will be to go to the management studio go to properties and copy the name of the server instance and paste the same on the administration uh, because that will make uh, it will ensure that you are putting in the correct sql server address and this particular uh, server need to be um, in communication or in network where you are trying to uh, have this is uh, solidworks pdm uh, client so both the system should be in network so currently you see uh, that server instance is not working so i'll select another one i do have different different instances so let's go with this one this should work but uh, you should always make sure that uh, from the client where you are trying to create Sorry for that. So the client from where you are trying to create the vault should be in network with the SQL server. That's the first and foremost uh, requirement. You can do a ping and telnet test. I will show it to you in later videos, um, which will ensure that whether the both the systems are communicating or not. So yes, uh, this is another problem. Uh, so uh, whether the SQL server installed and working properly, uh, you can check um, the services. Uh, the instance that you installed uh, should have a service associated with it and uh, that particular service should be running. So you'll always be able to find it in uh, SQL server and in parenthesis your instance uh, names uh, will be present so depending on that just select the required SQL uh, instance for me it's uh, express v2 so I'll start and go ahead and start the same uh, so once it start uh, I think I'll be able to do the login now so yes uh, the login is working now let's go ahead and try to create the vault back again Let's go to uh, administration and uh, paste the new server address, click next. And here you need to add the license server. So the license server should have the matching licenses for which you are trying to do the installation. So it's not working for me. Uh, I have another license server. Uh, let's try to add that. I would suggest to add the license server with the IP address because uh, the host name doesn't resolve uh, every time properly. So you need to add it like this 25734 at the rate IP address uh, and the 25734 is the port which is required by SNL to communicate with Solidbox PDM. And uh, here we will select default configuration for now and let's click next. And uh, this will install, uh, sorry, this will create uh, the vault and uh, this, uh, if this went successfully, that also ensures that all the components of SOLIDWORKS PDM is installed successfully, uh, starting from the archive server, database server, the client and the SQL server. So uh, let's wait uh, till it gets complete. So once this is done, you'll be able to see that particular vault under the administration uh, window uh, inside your server. And you can uh, do a login to make sure everything works properly. And you can go into the SQL server management and see uh, the database will be listed here. And this will make sure that everything installed properly. So that's all. Uh, that's uh, everything about installing SQL server for Cyber Speed. Thank you and uh, happy learning.